The Judicial Toolkit Working Group is designed to help judges, judges who have to handle these hate crimes. They're difficult cases to try under any circumstance, but there have been certain problems that have arisen, like issues with jurors. When you look at these cases and jurors find out what the cases are about, jurors are frightened. Jurors are concerned about sitting on these cases. Will some of the defendants or their friends learn where they live? So issues of keeping the jury secret, that's something that's been in the federal courts and the courts for some time, but that's just one of the things ju judges have to worry about. Um, the press and the media in the country very interested in these kinds of cases. So how does a judge manage what's going on outside the courtroom? That is lawyers who are giving press conferences outside the courtroom. The defendants want to get their agenda out so there can be outbursts, they can decide, oh, I don't want to listen to shadow counsel. They're viewing this as a forum. Yes, a forum. And so if they decide to represent themselves, there's a shadow counsel appointed but that means they can ask questions of witnesses. That then allows them to have a platform. Given what you've just laid out, what would be the single most difficult thing to deal with from the judge's perspective? I think managing counsel, managing individual defendants in the trial so that the trial is fair and to try to prevent these kind of outbursts in the court. That's really hard. That's really hard. So I take it from what you're saying, the end product is going to be sort of suggestions, guidelines or sort, sorts that judges can incorporate when they have that sort of proceeding before them. Is that correct? That's correct. And so judges that are handling these kind of cases, whether they're at the state or the federal level, are very busy. Instead of having to reinvent the wheel and think about all these issues, all the pretrial issues, issues during the trial, a judge could get this toolkit and see, oh, this is, these are all the processes that have to be followed during trial. Here's what other judges have done. Here's what's affected. Here's what's been upheld in the Court of Appeals. And so it becomes a guide, a guide that judges can use to get themselves up to shore for dealing with these kind of cases. It seems like part of the problem is constructing this toolkit and then you have the issue of distribution. I would envision offering it to the Federal Judicial Center, for example, which deals with all the educational materials for federal judges providing that. I would say sending it to the National Center for State Court. Um, I would envision perhaps law review articles or, or, or being written about it or a discussion in various legal journals, the ABA journal, journals that reach judges so that articles could be written saying this tool is available and then offering it online. We want it to be available in an instant for judges to look at and to consider and to discuss with their staffs what makes sense. When will we likely see the initial iteration of the toolkit? I would say early next year. Early 2025? Yes, yes.